let us see how organisms adapt to the abiotic factors. like light temperature soil and all that generally in organisms there is always an effort to maintain a constant situation in the body. Because the factors outside the abiotic factors keep varying. So, most often organisms try to maintain a constant situation in, inside the body irrespective of what is happening outside the body. So, it is here that we talk about what is known as an internal environment, internal environment and external environment. So, in organisms you can think of only two situations either they should maintain a constant internal environment irrespective of what is happening in the external environment or they should alter their internal environment to match with the changes in the external environment. With reference to this, we do not see elaborate mechanisms in plants. Their adaptations are comparatively less, but in animals, particularly in higher animals, we see an elaborate mechanism called homeostasis. Homeostasis. Homeostasis is defined as the process of maintaining a constant internal environment. Maintaining a constant internal environment. There are three possibilities as adaptations to the varying abiotic factors namely regulate conform and suspend regulate, conform or suspend. Regulate that means, this is a situation where the organism tries to maintain a 
a constant internal environment a constant internal environment therefore such organisms such organisms are called regulators regulators for example you take mammals in mammals being warm blooded there is always an effort to maintain a constant body temperature we call it as thermo regulation thermo regulation similarly in many organisms there is an effort towards maintaining the water concentration constant in the body that is called osmo regulation you have studied how a plant cell responds to varying concentration of salts in water osmo regulation such organisms are called regulators so they maintain a constant internal environment irrespective of the changes in the surrounding abiotic conditions the second situation is conform conform this is a situation where the organism alters its internal environment alters its body conditions to suit the external environment to suit the external environment for example the animals which are called as poikilotherms cold blooded animals their body temperature fluctuates according to changes in the surrounding environment now in suppose we plot a graph this is changing external environment on the y axis you have internal environment in the case of regulators in the case of regulators you will see the situation remains like this internal environment remains the same irrespective of change in the external environment so the curve you get for regulators will be like this whereas whereas you get a curve like this as the external environment varies so is the internal environment so variation in the external environment variation in the internal environment matching with each other this is in the case of
conformers. In some animals, we have another situation that they start varying their internal environment up to a particular point in the external environment beyond which they will be able to maintain a state of equilibrium. So these are called these are called partial regulators partial regulators. So we have regulators, conformers and some, in some cases partial regulators. The third possibility is suspend that is stop the activities for a while stop the activities for a particular period till it is unfavorable. For example, we have in many animals a phenomenon called hibernation a phenomenon called hibernation where to avoid extreme cold temperature the animals enter into a state of inactivity or deep sleep during winter months particularly the animals living in the polar regions and closer areas exhibit hibernation. As against this we have a situation called estivation. Estivation some animals cannot tolerate extreme high temperatures. So during peak summer months they enter into a period of rest, period of deep sleep. So this is known as summer sleep. Hibernation, winter sleep and estivation, summer sleep. Many fishes some of the snails exhibit estivation. Another possibility is in some cases in some cases depending upon the changes in the environmental conditions organisms suspend their growth for a particular period. So that period of suspended growth is called as diapause. Diapause is the period of suspended growth. Diapause is seen in several organisms in some plants also, more so in the case of animals, particularly in insects. The eggs enter into a state of diapause for several months and start developing only on the return of favorable conditions. Music